So we're starting off today at the ASUS booth at Computex 2019. Just a quick run through of the 30th anniversary Zenbook and it is beautiful. It is made out of white leather now and when you actually get your hands on it, it really feels very nice. The texture is all there and there are gold trimmings on the entire laptop. So you open it up and the inside is also white with the very nice logo on the box. Another interesting thing that they have here is the Zenfone 6 and you may have seen this online already but this has one of the coolest camera, if not the coolest camera. So you can't really see a front camera here, but when you just press the flip button, it comes up and you get this slight vibration and a noise to tell you that the camera has come up. So it's just really very cool. Press it, goes back down. Press it, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Literally takes two seconds for the camera to pop up. So yeah, definitely really interesting here. So here we have the most beautiful Zenbook Pro Duo and as you can see there are two screens so one is the big one on the top and also the smaller on the bottom but you can see as he's using it it's so simple to use and yeah I think there's gonna be a ton of functions with this everything from your multitasking functions to all of your extended screen functions so you can see now on the bottom there's actually three screens on the bottom that are opened up uh, top there's one but you can actually even split the top of one into two screens so yeah it's really very simple and i can't wait to really check this out because now he just jumped into powerpoint things like that and it's all fully touch screen but if you can see this little pad on the side also this can also be your touch pad and at the same time yeah if you punching in you can see it can become a number pad too. So yeah, this is really an interesting, interesting laptop that ASUS has launched and yeah, can't wait to see more of this. The ASUS VivoBook is also on display here and they are showcasing a bunch of different colors that they have. So you have your black, blue, red, and they all have this really very nice trimming here. So it's just little attention to detail that really helps sell a product and the specs on the VivoBook are actually not that bad especially if you are just going to be using this for work and play because yeah you can see it's very very light and it looks just I don't know personally to me it looks pretty nice from the NVIDIA press conference and now it's here is the Quattro O RTX Studio laptop so ASUS has quite a few of these on display so this is their first one there's also the ASUS Studiobook S, ASUS Studiobook W500, and the last one, I'm totally not sure because there is no name on it, but yeah, these are going to be some of the most powerful laptops for content creation, because if you actually go in, you can see that it is ISV certified, RTX Advantage, faster creative, up to 8K resolution red video editing, which is insane for a laptop. It's and if it can really maintain top speed, it's going to be really amazing. The ASUS Pro Art is also out here, also for content creators. And these are just big displays. These are 32 inches and they are... The color on these is amazing. I hope the camera is showing it well. But if you can see it, you can definitely see that there's a lot of detail, a lot of very very nice accurate colors very vibrant if you need it and you just move on and you have the asus mini pc for content creation also another pro art pc but this 27 inches and this is their portable series so this is actually like for if you're in a director's village kind of thing so you need to bring this portable monitor everywhere and there's even a case for it so it's just yeah it's just asus creed to show you that they are not only looking at working professionals, but also the content creators out there. ASUS are also launching a whole bunch of very, very nice white series motherboards. And they are all insanely beautiful from their 570 Pro to the X299 Deluxe. 
and obviously the X299 edition 30. This is the most beautiful motherboard that I've ever seen and I'm not even joking. Not exaggerating at all but look at all the detail on this. You have your SSD heat sinks, you have all your covers and just look at the detail on it. It's beautiful. Edition 30. There's even a screen here that you should be able to program. I don't think it's just going to be running these so you can look at your temps and everything else. And I'm just a very big fan of this white color on this. Now let's take a look at how they built this motherboard. So they built this in the Tomotech Core P3. And as you can see, it's fully water cooled for the CPU and it looks gorgeous. Remember at the press conference where we were taking a look at the Prime Utopia? Here, we have an actual, not really working product I guess, but more of the concept build that's come out. So it's probably a development one. As you can see, water code VRM, modularized I.O. Proprietary higher Hydra, Cortex fan headset, PCIe slots on the Mac of the motherboard, Wi-Fi enabled OLED display. That's the thing that I was looking for the most. And when you turn over, they actually have a unit in this case right here to show case everything. And it actually looks really something like from the future. So I really can't wait for them to actually finish building this and actually check this out. Okay, that's it from the ASUS booth. And actually, they actually have a second booth which is the ROG booth. And let's go towards that. Catch you in the next one. Remember, like and subscribe for more Computex content. And yeah, tune into the next one.